Good morning, this is Kuro. Got a ranked game in my Shimakaze. And this game, it's going to be a lot about just defending my own cap. Uh, my team goes heavy uh, to C, and a lot of people would would suspect that a Shimakaze really can't defend its own cap, especially against, you know, Harugumo and, and things like that. Um, you know, it's, you can and, and, but you've got to do it certain ways and that's what I'm going to try to, to show o over the course of this game. <coughs> um, right off the bat, I've got a red flag because my curve first is, is telling my team that, well, if you guys just keep all the DDs off me, I'm just going to YOLO through C. Yeah, that's not the best course of action right out of the game. Wait till, wait till we actually know how many are there, because if, you know, three quarters of the enemy team's down here, you're dead. You're not gonna, you're not gonna do anything. They're just gonna kill you. And they're gonna kill you and anybody else dumb enough to go along with you. It's, it's pointless. Um, so, looking at my gameplay, we need to get points ticking ASAP. Um, I'm using my speed boost. And I'm just taking a look at RPF. I'm pretty sure I've got a destroyer mid. We've got most likely a destroyer on C cap, and one of the dinosaurs just woke up. Number one says good morning. She sounds like a demon. Hopefully it won't get too bad, but... Taking a look here, uh, Kingpin's a really good player, and I mean that's his experience right there with with the blind fire trying to reset me. Um, yeah, he's he's a really solid player, and he just uh, missed me by a couple kilometers with that first shot. So that's always something to be aware of when you're playing against better players. They will make unpredicted unpredictable moves like that. And, uh, you know, I've, I've seen them land those hits before. So, you know, taking a look at my Hindenburg, you know, basic arithmetic says, this is, this is bad. You're 3v1, why are you turning in? Um, I dropped smoke for him, uh, but I mean, the... It's, it's going to be a common theme throughout the game that the guy just ignores smoke. So, you know, he just repaired, uh, look like a double fire. And, uh, you know, chances are he's going to be eating a bunch of more damage um, here shortly. Now, I notice Kingpin drops off on the 3-4 the line, and I expect he's going to be coming hard to A. Um we still don't know where their har Harugumo is. Um, I kind of expect this is the Shima out here. So I'm starting to think that the Harugumo is headed to A. Probably with the Zao. And uh, I'm going to turn back and, and try to defend it here shortly. Uh, I'm trying to bring focus to my team that, hey... They've already got at least three ships. I believe it's four at this point out here. That's the bulk of the enemy team. They're coming for A. You know, we need to get out here. And Shimakaze spotted middle. And that, you know, that pretty much confirms what what I'm thinking. That we're going to have a DD step on cap here shortly. Now, in my opinion, the Haragumo he misplays this. I, I understand he probably wants to make sure he's getting spotting on our Hindenburg uh, because the Zao's coming in behind him. You can tell the Zao's here by the spotter plane. Um, 
but what's going to happen is I'm going to push in and I'm, I'm just going to precisely spot this guy. I can tell he's out in the open water and I'm going to use my Hindenburg to reset the guy. And I pick him up. He instantly smokes, which means he's dead. I mean, even now he's probably dead. Uh, the F3s are just that fast. Uh, if he didn't instantly pop speed boost and accelerate, and I know I got him. As soon as I see him shoot, it's all over, buddy. Uh, and it should have been a red flag for that guy because he Hindenburg couldn't have spotted him. So he should have known there's a destroyer between me and the Hindenburg. Even if he didn't have RPF, uh, I think the Zao actually has RPF, yeah. Um... But that's a full health Haragumo gone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and step on, my, on the cap here. And, I mean, the issue that I'm having here, you've got a Kerfurst that's, that's making a run on this uh, Hindenburg. I'm trying to lay smoke for this guy, but he keeps turning in the worst directions possible. He's giving broadside to the Zao, which I know Kingpin's going to slam him with AP. Um... And he's going to get wrecked. There's the AP. Yep. Chunked him down. He's got torpedoes coming. You know, he doesn't even need to be in this cap. You know, he could have sat right up here and uh, just stayed angled and he'd be cool. But, you know, sailing around like that will get you killed. So, you know, it is what it is. I pick up a cap again. Uh, I know Kingfin's going to have to come back for it. Uh, he's down two ships already, and I'm I'm just gonna go see what else I can do um, up until the, that time that it's it's time to defend A again. Um, my Shimikaze is coming up here, and uh, I don't know how how effective that guy's gonna be. Everything's pretty much pushed off at the moment and you probably got another minute before ships start coming back around um, our Kerr first of course went down and he's complaining because you know um, we have to push together well you know Minotaur and Des Moines you don't push in the open you know that's that's a really rough way to do it with, you know, Moskvas and a Kerr first and a Yamato that are all going to have their broadside. You know, it's... It's rough. Now, the move that I expect Kingpin to make is to basically head to this corner and try to contest a cap to stop the points. Um... My ships are, are shooting at this guy. I had basically launched preemptive torps trying to cut that off. And, you know, in the the wiggling and waggling, he slowed down enough that I was able to catch him with that set of torps. And I know at this point this is, this is probably the game. Kingpins, I believe, is the best player on the enemy team. We've got two caps and a ship lead. And, I mean, they do still have some really beat up ships as well. So, I'm, I'm just looking to keep circling in here. And this is the position where the Shimakaze can be really effective just flooding this area in here with Torps. Because this is the safe way to, t to take A. And you pretty much need to get in tight to this island where you can be able to get some Torps down here. If they're... If they're really clever and they know what you're doing, it is possible to like be right on the beach and just have half your ship in the cap. It, for those that don't know, uh, if you get the halfway point of your ship inside the cap, um, that's when the points start ticking. And this little ledge right here can protect you from torpedoes. But a lot of people, you can see it better right here. But um, a lot of people aren't aware of that. 
and uh, they'll try to push aggressively into the, into the cap further away from the island, and you can wreck them. So that's why I'm in this position right here. I'm I'm not only am I able to spot, but I can also get some torpedo shots if anybody tries to push beyond this little point right here. So at this point, we've got two full base caps, we've got two ships sunk, and uh, we're going to go push mid. I, I'm pretty sure that there's a Shimakaze between me and this Yamato. Um, so I'm pushing up to try to zone this guy out. He's going to have to come to, to A cap, or yes, to A cap. Um, This Moskva is pushing, so I am launching some uh, predictive torpedoes, and then I'm I'm just gonna get safe. I mean, I'm still full HP. Um, but I I want to make sure that I've got the HP to deal with the Shima if I need to. And at this point, I'm pretty sure my RPF is actually on the Moskva. Uh, sometimes you get some some lag with the the indicator moving and I've got some calculated torpedoes coming in on the Moskva and I mean it doesn't get much closer than that <laughs> oh that's annoying <laughs> but I think at the last second he turned out a little bit but uh it would have been nice to pick that up, but eh. So that's the game. Uh, a little discussion on how to defend a cap with uh, a Shimakaze. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, I'm gonna go over the uh, the scoreboards. Uh, the destroyer kill obviously really boosted my. Uh, my XP um, that's a major thing and I mean the the two full base caps helped as well but um, you know all in all it's a solid game wanted to use this as an example of one way that you can uh, defend a cap in uh, Shimakaze on mountain range so hope you guys enjoyed it I will talk to you later